Hey you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I am finally doing my homeschool room clean out and my curriculum declutter video. So first and foremost, you guys, we are starting off in my homeschool closet. This is just the area that I just throw everything in at the end of the school year, but I'm really ready to find permanent homes for all of like my used curriculum, all of my homeschooling records. I wanna do some uh, type of new organization at the top Top of my homeschool closet so um, at first things first you guys I am just taking everything out of my homeschool closet this part is the scariest part because this is when uh, the room becomes completely a mess and it's no turning back at this point but um, the kids are outside they are um, on their splash pad my husband's on daddy duty so this is the perfect time for me this summer to go ahead and finish up this project so you guys this is some of my kiddos art from their uh, alphabet portfolio. I have all of the curriculum that Brielle completed this homeschooling year that I haven't filed away. I just put it in a, a little pile on my um, homeschooling desk so I can come in and know to file away these last bits of piece of curriculum that she already has finished. And don't worry, at the end of the video, I will show you guys how I record and keep all of her homeschool records. So here is our school nest uh, notebooks that I used this homeschooling year, you guys, and I absolutely loved all of the School Nest notebooks. I went ahead and purchased new ones for this year, and I also purchased a new uh, School Nest homeschooling planner because I absolutely love documenting our homeschool journey, uh, scrapbooking, it really was so much fun. So you guys, uh, these are the two totes that I had inside of my homeschool closet. And like I said, it's just uh, curriculum mixed with artwork, just um, curriculum I never used and I didn't sell just yet or I wanna donate. Um, I have all of the homeschooling records uh, from Brielle's third great year up until now. And I really have to figure out and narrow down what I'm really gonna keep. I feel like the last video I did, I still kept a lot of things. And in today's video, I'm really going to uh, get to the minimum, get to the basics, and really um, get, do a thorough clean um, of our homeschooling records and curricula. Okay, you guys, I went ahead and I separated all of my curriculum into three pals. I have a donate pal, I have a trash pal, and I have a keep pal. So the things that are in my donate pal, these are curriculum and pieces that I know I'm not gonna be using uh, this homeschooling year, and Brielle, my oldest, is going to age out of them. So I wanna go ahead and donate these things to families that can absolutely use them. And then the younger pieces of curriculum, uh, my kiddos, my younger girls, they aged out of those, so I can't use those no longer with them so um, this is my trash pal you guys these are like all of these old workbooks that Brielle used last homeschooling year some spelling curriculum some reading workbooks I was just trying to hold on to more than I actually needed uh, because I already um, pulled out the uh, specific samples for um, her homeschooling binder I really feel like it's time for me to let everything else go um, even with this uh, simply good and beautiful math curriculum curriculum that we did in her uh, fourth grade year. I pulled out all of the evaluations and the little test sheets, so I definitely don't need it. And as far as the handwriting books, you guys, I just keep uh, copies for them and um, I just throw away the rest of the handwriting book. Um, it's so sad sometimes because this is her work, but I can't keep everything. And these are my core knowledge readers that we use this homeschooling year. Core knowledge was awesome, you guys. And I know this is an easy reprint, so I'm gonna go ahead and just throw these away because I don't see us using any of this stuff anytime soon. Now my keep pal is definitely things that I know I'm gonna come back to within the next year or two. Um, I have a lot of like my hem studies and heritage packs that I loved. Um, I have all of my teachers uh, materials from IEW and Fix It Grammar because these are curricular pieces I'm definitely going to pull out as my younger ones get older. Um, I have my gentle and classical Christmas and um, some older Rod and staff worksheets and I do have some more handwriting curriculums for Brielle to pull out if she wants to. Time. 
Okay, you guys, this is the hardest part for me. These are all of the composition books that I did with Brielle from third grade all the way to fifth grade. So some of these composition books we had from the start of our homeschool year. I remember doing this government unit study with her our first year of homeschool, you guys. And um, it's just, these are the keepsakes that I definitely know I'm, you know, I'm keeping. These are like keeps in our home and um, these are things that I definitely want to save for her to go back and look through and um, with my daughter's permission you guys she did give me the okay to share with you guys all of her older composition books from elementary school here are like all of her like daily journals and um, all of her creative writing stories that she has done throughout the years and um, some of her summer journals um, now I do have some like grammar books that we did this is from the good and the beautiful three that we did and I do have um, some other like little English books and things like that um, I think these are ones and like here goes the spelling and vocabulary workbook I think these are the ones that I'm probably going to go ahead and like discard because um, these are kind of like not necessarily keepsakes I do have um, all of these records in her homeschooling binders already so I think these particular um, compositions I'm going to go ahead and discard but her new school desk ones that we did this homeschooling year I'm going to keep so I have my pile of all of our um, notebookings that we have done that we're going to keep and then the other compositions that I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. So you guys, now that I have two distinguished totes, I have one of curriculum that I'm keeping and this is all of my extra homeschooling records with all of my kiddos artwork, especially like my preschoolers artwork. So um, I went ahead and I printed off this paper so I can actually have a label inside of my homeschool closet so I can see, okay, this is a curriculum box or this is a record keeping box. And hopefully this will help me um, stay organized with like all of the artwork and the keepsakes and things I wanna keep for this upcoming homeschool year. So I'm so happy that part is done. Now I am onto the top of my homeschool closet, you guys. I went ahead and took everything down and I put it back on this table again and we are starting from the beginning. So I had a lot of knickknacks in the top of my homeschool closet, you know, like magnifying glasses, old flashcards that I used with Brielle. And you guys, these are all of the school supplies that I have left at the end of my school year. And um, if you see my, I get it all done video you would have seen these totes were completely filled um I had a little accident you guys I made a mistake and I spilled um my ink at the bottom of this um cart so I have to go ahead and get rid of it um I do have this cap and gown that I bought for uh Leia and you guys I have a couple of extra organization things that I had around my house so with these baskets I'm going to take everything out and get it looking all good at the top of my homeschooling closet Okay, you guys, it is day two of my homeschool room declutter. 
And the last thing that I have to do is finish up Brielle's record keeping binder. So this is her binder that I keep all of our homeschooling records in. Um, just a little bit of samples of each of her subjects. So the last things I have to put in is Fix It Grammar. I already made the copies of the Fix It Grammar weeks that I wanna use because I like to keep the whole Fix It Grammar book. So what I do is I just make copies of samples of each of the weeks. I just do like maybe five or six of the weeks to show progression. And here is Robin Hood. As far as her Epsilon that we did, since this is the math we ended off our um, homeschooling year with, what I did was I just binded all of her uh, tests together so I can keep all of her test forms together. And what I might do is go ahead and just pull out some samples of her work from Epsilon. And I definitely wanna go ahead and follow away this chart because it actually shows all of the lessons that we actually completed in this Epsilon level book. And for spelling, I'm just gonna go in here and just tear out a few of the weeks of the spelling to add in her binder. And then I'm all done, you guys. Okay, you guys, I have to record this really, really quick because I have my younger two upstairs with me today. So this is the end of year portfolio uh, binder that I create every single year for my daughter. I have one for Leia, but it's not finished just yet because I have her all of her artwork displayed. And since she was just in pre-K, that's pretty much all that's in her binder is artwork. So um, this is how Brielle's binder looks as like an official like school age kid for like the state of Georgia. So I went ahead and I said, saved our last day of school first day of school signs I have our full calendar and like all of the days that we took off for like our school year right here is my um, Georgia uh, declaration of intent to homeschool I have my whole I guess planner of all of the things and the lesson plans we did I actually printed them out uh, digitally so um, I have what we did each week so not only do I have my homeschool planner but I do have this file digital so um, I can go ahead and submit this if I ever had to to see exactly what we did each week so here is our reading log, our read alouds, our poetry books, independent assigned reads that Brielle did, any type of reads that we did with our literature curriculum. I typed out all of the books and the authors right here. So here is math. And all I did for math is I just went ahead and I saved all of the tests that my daughter did. So here is all of Saxon 6-5 that we completed. 7-6 that we started and I highlighted it where we ended which was lesson 45. I have all of her uh, tests that she took here and I also have our grades from Nicole the math lady when we used her grading system. Here is Epsilon and I have right here her test booklet is kind of like a little separate but it's okay. But what I went ahead and did is I filed all of like the work that she did for Epsilon. This is her um, congratulations certificate and then I went ahead and I pulled out some samples of her actual uh, work text for Epsilon. Here is Town Mouse and Country Mouse from Fix It Grammar. And as you guys seen, I just made copies of each of the weeks and I put it right here as well. The same thing for Robin Hood. Here is our uh, Building English series, Rod and Staff. I have went ahead and I saved some of the worksheets that Brielle did with this curriculum uh, for that semester. And then I also went ahead and I saved all of the tests that we did for uh, Rod and Staff as well. So um, here is IEW. I have saved all of the paper she written with her rough drafts and everything like that so it's a pretty hefty stack and then at the back I have her final written essay that she wrote for IEW and then again her um, congratulations certificate as well I have uh, spelling and some of the copies and samples of spelling I have reading detective that we did all I did was save was the pretest for this because we're still working in this curriculum and when we finish this book I'll go ahead and separate out some samples from this year and then from next year as well since we still are going to or since this book is coming along with us in our sixth grade year i have our literature guide from the witch of blackbird pond uh, that we did all of um 
her work from that and then her last little final project that she did, which was the character sketch. I have the Lemonade War, which we did another uh, literary, um, I guess, um, guide with it. And then I have some of her copywork passages as well. Um, all of these works that I have that uh, that was inside of like her school nest planners, I saved them alongside as like a additional. So if ever I had to turn this in, I would turn this in along with her school nest notebooks that has like all of her like uh, creative things as far as everything we did for like history and for um, science is mainly in her interactive notebooks but what I did was I just highlighted the lessons that we did and the lesson plans from each of her science curriculums here's some of the stuff we did for core from core knowledge and then she did a unit study on Galileo which was really cool so she had fun with that and at the back I do have some of her artwork but again I don't have all of her artwork because it's still hanging up on our wall so this is some of the illustrations that she created on procreate I have them here here is living art lessons you guys I'm so embarrassed we only did one lesson from that but it's completely fine and then in the back I do have all of her certificates from Hoffman Academy um, that she earned and then here is a cute um, um, little thing we got from our homeschool group that I saved uh, because we had really fun doing like the spooky science so um, the only thing again like I said I do have to add in is the rest of her artwork and some like personal pictures but other than that this is how uh, Brielle's uh, binder looks so yeah Okay, you guys, and just like that, I have officially cleaned out my homeschooling uh, closet. It is all ready and prepared for the 2023-2024 homeschooling year. Um, I am so excited about this upcoming homeschool year. I have a clean slate to start off on. Um, even though I didn't want to come in here, I'm just so happy that I can check one more thing off of my to-do list before my official start of the 2023-2024 homeschooling year. So you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.